everyone, so this is Boong and I'm back with another video but this video is going to be quite different than the video I've done before on my channel. It's going to be my first ever video that I'm going to be talking to you guys about books. Book is something that I really really love. I love reading for fun and um, I'm actually not a fan of reading for school but I love reading like fictions and stuff for fun and I love reading like young adult, new fiction, romance, fantasy, and those are all up my alley. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my collective summer book haul because I don't really have a lot of time during school to read so I kind of just pile everything up for the summer. So there's a long list of books today that I'm going to be talking to you guys about. Some of the books I have already read but a lot of them I have not and I'm really really excited to read them. So the first book is this one and it is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. So this book is about a pair of twins where they grew up and didn't quite get along as well and didn't really talk much at all when they grow up and um, so the first half of the book is told by one of the twin and the second half of the book is told by the other one of the twin so there's like stuff that happened that you didn't know the other side and then you learn about the other side and it kind of um, build up the story. I have not read this book yet but I'm really really excited to read it because so many people love this book and I can't wait to get into it. The next ones I have are by Stephanie Perkins and it is Anna the French Kiss and the Laura and the Boy Next Door. Um, I've read both of this book. I have not yet bought the third one because I kind of just switched off the genre for a bit so I don't feel like reading the third book yet but I will be. Anna and the French Kiss is about this girl called Anna who was sent to a boarding school in France and she didn't really want to go because she has a thing with her co-worker in the States and her best friend is back at home so she didn't want to leave her life and go to France where she doesn't even know how to speak French so yeah that wasn't what she wanted but when she went to France she met this guy called St. Clair and you know what so yeah, this book is going to be about Anna and that guy St. Clair and it is a really cute and really easy to read so I enjoyed it. So the next one in the trilogy is Laura and the Boy Next Door. I wouldn't say that you have to read Anna story first in order to understand this one. They're just supporting characters in the book. So Laura has kind of a bad boy boyfriend who she's really into and then suddenly her twin neighbor moved back in. And you know what? They have a past. In this book you follow the story of Laura and the boy next door Cricket who moved back and she didn't really want to meet him but you find out why. The next one is another contemporary read and it is a book called My Love Gave to Me and this book actually contains a lot of short stories in one book. I actually have no idea what this book is going to be about. I have no idea if the short story kind of leads into each other or they're just separate um, kind of short stories but they have a lot of awesome authors in this book and it's edited by Stephanie Perkins herself and I kind of bought this book purely just because of how it looks. Look, it's such a pretty book and the binding is so awesome. This book is actually a UK edition so I don't know if you can find this version exactly in the US but the bookstore um, here in Thailand has both the US and the UK edition and I just prefer and like love how this one looks so I bought the UK edition obviously. Moving away from the young adult kind of books, I'm moving into the new adult um, genre but still contemporary read. Um, I've been into Colleen Hoover this summer. It's the first time I've read her book and I love her writing. And the first book that I've read from her is called Slam by Colleen Hoover. This book follows Lakin, an 18 year old girl who just moved to a new house. And she, on her first day, met her new neighbor called Will, a 21 year old guy. And they got really interested into each other and you know, yeah, they just really like each other. But then she finds out who Will is and the relationship wouldn't really work out. So you find out in this book who Will is and how they're gonna go through all that. And the next book by Colleen Hoover that I read, I do not have with me right now. I will just insert a picture right here because I lent it to my aunt. It is called Confess and I love that book. Confess is about this girl called Auburn who has her life set out. She has her goals. She knows what she needs to do in her life. But then she met 
Owen, an artist, um, and he kind of changed her. Like she showed her like new perspective of the world and just what people go through and how like people cope with things. And you know, this book is called Confess, so there's a lot of confession in this book. And the amazing part is that those confessions are written by actual people written to Colleen Hoover and that just adds so much more meaning to the book. So yeah, I really really love this book so you guys should check it out. And the next book by Colleen Hoover I have here is Maybe Someday and this book follows a girl called Sydney who has a boyfriend but then she found out that her boyfriend is cheating on her with her roommate. That is not good. Um, And then she met this guy called Rich who lived across her Buccany, so they like meet each other through Buccanese and they got really attracted to each other but there are circumstances that they should not be together so you follow the two who got really attracted to each other but they just have to kind of force themselves to not get into each other because of the circumstance they are in so you have to read this book to see what the situation is and just stuff like that. So the last book I have by Colleen Hoover this summer is called Ugly Love. I actually have not read this book yet so I'm really looking forward into this book because I love her style of writing. So this book follows Tate and Miles who have kind of a no string attached relationship but then I think that didn't really quite work I would assume and they would have to get together or something like that. I actually have no idea what this book is going to be about. So yeah, I'm really excited to read it and I love the book cover of this book. It's blue and it's like water and just loved it. I'm moving away from those contemporary reads. I'm going to move into more of a fantasy and like other stuff. So the first one I have, I wouldn't call it as a like high fantasy novel or something like that. It's just like supernatural and it's a um, historical book. It is Miss Perjean's Home for Peculiar Children and I have not read this book yet but I think this book is about a boy who go into this house where there are children with like supernatural power like a girl floating or something like that and I think this house is bombed during a world war so the time keep repeating that one day and that's what I heard I'm not sure I haven't read it yet so um, I'm really excited to read this book. It's not the genre that I typically go for. I don't really read like historical or like this kind of um, fiction that that's like not really romance to begin with. I don't even know if there's a romance in this book but I heard a lot of good things about it and they have a lot of like pictures in this book where the author got inspired. So moving into the fantasy books I have right here, City of Bones, the Moral Instrument um, series and it is by Cassandra and Claire. So many people love this book, like everyone loved this book so I just have to read it. I haven't read it yet because it's quite big for me so I don't have the time and energy to go into it yet but I'm really excited to read this book. This one follows a girl called Clary Frey who found out about a secret club in New York and that club contains like werewolves and vampires and shadow hunts her and just supernatural people who we shouldn't know about like we humans shouldn't know that they exist and stuff like that and she happened to have a power as well where she shouldn't be so people are like what the hell and she met this guy called Jace also and the story goes on and that's all I know about this book I can't wait to get into it um really excited just need to actually get into it first the next one I have here is The Wrath and the Dawn by Rene Adier and I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. I'm sorry, I'm just really bad at pronouncing names and words. This book is also talked a lot about on the YouTube community. I'm really excited to read this book. This book is kind of inspired by the story A Thousand and One Night, where there's a king who brings in a new wife every day and kills her off. This book is about an 18 year old boy king called Khalid who also bring in a new wife every day and kills her off the next morning. So one of those girls happened to be Shirazad's best friend. So Shirazad just volunteered to get married to the king because she wanted to take revenge for her best friend. So she wanted to go in and kill the king. And um, once she went into the palace, she found out that he's actually not 
like who he is and he's actually not like the evil guy who just want to kill the girl every single day and obviously she started falling for him and we follow that story next one i have here is talon by julie kagawa and um this book is in the world where there's dragon and human and normal human don't even know that dragon exists anymore but they do and there's not a lot of them left so they kind of have this power where they transform into a human and just blend in and live and just survive that way. But then there's also this group of people who are called the St. George and they do not like the dragons. They just want to kill the dragons, they hunt the dragons down and just kill the dragons because they believe that human and dragon should not live together. The dragons are evil and they're gonna kill all the human down and stuff like that. So there's a war between the dragon and the um, St. George and obviously the girl and the guy are on a different team. So you follow the dragon girl Ember and she meets this guy called Garrett who is from St. George. And you know, they kind of start falling for each other and this is what the book is about. I have not yet read the second book but I finished this one and I loved it. Um, I'm gonna go back to the States and buy the second book because they do not sell this one in Thailand. I just don't know why. People need to read this book. And the cover is so pretty. I'm like so obsessed with it. Look at that. And like, look at that. It's awesome. It's so pretty. And yes, that's Talon. Last but not least, I have A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. And I love this book also. Oh my god. I just want to mention this. We're in the red theme right now. Look. The red books are really awesome this summer, I guess. I just want to mention that the names of the character and places in this book are really hard to pronounce. So um, the author put the guide at the back of how to pronounce their names and stuff like that. I still don't even know if I can pronounce it right, even if I read that guide already. But just let's get into the book. This book is a world where there are fairies and humans. And again, they're on opposite sides. Humans are really scared of the fairies because they are like more powerful. And in the past, the human used to be slave to the fairies. And there's a war that happened. So they kind of got separate, like the fairy in the north and then the human in the south. But Farah, the girl in this book, accidentally killed a fairy. And that is not that great, is it? Um, so she met this other fairy who came to her because he got really really mad at her because she killed his friend. So she has to go into the fairy world as her punishment for killing a fairy. Once she got into the fairy world, she found out that the fairies are getting kind of weaker and they are like facing their doom. So you follow her into the fairy world and kind of just get involved into the politics and the stuff that happened into the fairy world that you don't understand because just like Farah, you are listening into this conversation that people are saying and you're just like, what is going on? So that is it for my collective summer book haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please give me a huge thumb up. And I really appreciate that. And if you have any thought or ideas about the book I mentioned in this video, just feel free to comment down below. And if you have any recommendation of book I should read, put it in the comment down below as well. I really, really appreciate it and would definitely go check the books out. So if you want to see more video from me like beauty or fashion or books, just please subscribe down below and I really, really appreciate that. And once again, thank you for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Bye-bye.